<laughs> Welcome to another chats with Vlad. Ah, I'm just standing here watching the neighbors. <laughs> It's a lot more interesting what you might see in your neighborhood <laughs> than you do in TV and movies nowadays. This would be episode 15. And to be honest with you, I was kind of contemplating taking the night off. <sighs> Maybe doing a little bit of sightseeing. <laughs> but no. You know how the saying goes. There's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> uh, indeed. So. Tonight. Rather than look at the neighbors all night. I thought maybe we could sit here in a nice little environment. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it's not Mr. Bluebird looking over my shoulder, but uh, I like it. So, first order of business then. <laughs> First order of business. I watched that Hellraiser. It's not a series, by the way. I was wrong on that. Sorry about the misinformation. I'll try harder next time. No, apparently it was a movie. And while I respected it for the fact that it was very Hellraiser in its way. They also went totally and utterly woke in it from the gay love scenes all the way to the equity aspect. <laughs> I mean, they tried cramming so much into it, they even turned Pinhead into a lady. As a matter of fact, from what I could see, they made all of the Cenobites ladies, which means that hell's a real bitch, you know. <laughs> uh, what does that say for the ladies, though? Is that they saying that they're the real evil ones, that they're all the ones going to hell? There's a higher percentile of women going to hell than men? I mean, what kind of message are you really trying to give Hulu. <laughs> uh, if I were to give it a joker scale of one to ten, I would at least have to give them uh, I'm giving them a four because I'm nice. And I say I'm nice because it was the very last thing that I saw when the film was over. I looked at the name of it and I thought, surely this must be some kind of addition. Surely this must be, I don't know, a parallel universe or something. Maybe the Marvel Universe got stuck up in that shit somehow. I'm highly doubting it though. What it said was Clive Barker's Hellraiser reimagined. Reimagined. Which means this is supposed to take the place of one of the most epic movies of all time. Are you telling me that this is supposed to replace? Hellraisers 1 and 2. You couldn't do it on your best day. And I don't care if you got a million dollar, hundred million dollar, a billion dollar 
budget. <laughs> you people need to leave the classics alone. See, other people had it right. The people who did Mad Max, they didn't try erasing all of Max's history. No, they made an addition. And not only did they make an addition with Fury Road, they also explained exactly why Max is mad. From all the people he couldn't save. From all those souls that looked at him for help. And left him a hollow shell of a man. Now that, boys and girls, is fucking telling a story. Now mind you, I gave them a four because I thought the special effects were good and I thought some of the sound effects would have gone in key with things and it would have been an enjoyable flick except for the fact that they tried to replace a classic with it. That's never a good move. Look at the new Evil Dead. You remember that about 10 years ago? Evil Dead 1, and a lot of people hadn't heard of. Not until Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness had people even been hip to that franchise. Now don't ask me about the Evil Dead 1 and 2 thing, because I know, I know, they're almost the same movie except for a bush rape scene. Uh, but, with that being put to the side for the time being, they were great movies. And actually, I have to admit it, after I saw that Ivy get a hold of that chick, it made me itchy all over. <laughs> anyway, my point being is they made a new Evil Dead. But this time, they took the humor out of it. They tried making a straight horror. And while it was a very watchable movie, it just seemed like a lot of blood and guts somewhere in a cabin in the woods somewhere. All in all, it didn't turn out very well. I'm not sure how this new Hellraiser is going to be received, but believe me, you boys and girls, I will be watching. I'm always watching. Now then, all of you people, I don't want to say names because I already get claims, copyright claims left and right. So with that being said, if you have a network and you like to make movies and you want to do things, then maybe you best listen to old Uncle Vlad here. <laughs> Be creative. Try new things. Here's one off the top of my head. How about a movie where the bad guy is the main character? And I don't mean some schmuck that's a hitman for some mob somewhere for some ethnicity. I don't mean anything lame or fucked like that. I mean a real bad guy. Someone interesting. You almost had it with a couple movies, but they were never quite the main character. I mean... A movie from a real bad guy's perspective. And who knows? Maybe even let a bad guy or two win. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to do it in your imagination, Hollywood. Because if you think the real life bad guys, a.k.a. the Democrats, are going to win, well, you have some fucking really disturbing news coming. Because... You remember that scene from The Shining where the elevators opened up and there was a tidal wave, a tsunami of red that washed away everything. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. Ah, uh, uh, Vlad hasn't gotten political in some time, has he? So, let's get into it. 
I hear Democrats are freaking. I hear Joe Biden is sinking. And I hear that other far lefts are thinking of running for various different political positions. Ah, uh, I hear they're trying to get infusions of young blood. This will help them dupe all their constituents once more. <laughs> now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I'm just telling you what's going on. Oh yes, the Democratic Party. Oh, boys and girls, I always hear them talking about how this is racist and how that's racist and how this is what a Nazi would do and how you're a Nazi. Are you a Nazi, boys and girls? I'm not. I'm a clown. <laughs> a jester, if you would. Although I imagine Nazis probably taste pretty good if you put enough A1 sauce on them. <laughs> you want to know who the real racists are, boys and girls? Let Uncle Vlad tell your brief history of the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party, the same ones who brought you slavery to begin with. They thought it was such a grand idea to bring free labor over. You see, what people don't tell you is the South, they were the Democrats. <laughs> and guess who the first Republican president was ever. Why, it was our good friend, our honorable friend, Abraham Lincoln. And guess who shot him, boys and girls? A far left extremist. A man named Booth. I want to say John Wilk Booth. <laughs> He's burning in hell nicely at the moment. Then we have after the Democrats fought for the freedom of the slaves. Later on, then we have the, uh, we have the birth of the KKK. Yes, the Ku Klux Klan. Boys and girls, was a group that was birthed, spawned from the imagination of the Democratic Party. They weren't happy with the way things had gone in war. And they were trying to keep their little idea of how things should be in their homeland any way possible. Then we have, oh, I didn't forget about the struggle of the 1960s. You remember that little spat they had, you know, the one where people wanted everybody to have rights, where people wanted all people of every colors. What did they call it? Oh, segregation. You know, where the black folks had to go to the back of the bus. They had white and black water fountains. They wanted to keep their shit separate. That was funded by the Democrats. You see, boys and girls, racism had almost been destroyed. It had almost been annihilated. And through the actions of the Democrats now, at this point in time and for the past several years, they've brought racism back like it hasn't been for hundreds of years. So, let me ask you now, boys and girls, who is a true racist? As a general rule, I've found that anything the Democrats accuse others of, they are guilty of themselves. And let me tell you, boys and girls, 
so far the track record is 100% hypocrisy. But that's okay, boys and girls. I don't want you to think that this might lead to something catastrophic, some kind of annihilation, not like nuclear holocaust. <laughs> yes, boys and girls, think about it.